Alrighty. So today, I'm going to be doing a little skit. Think about it as a little, like, movie, part of a movie. And it's by Dave Bradbury. It's called Tips for Women. Uh, and I hope you enjoy. Contrary to what many women believe, it's fairly easy to develop a long-term, stable, intimate, and mutually fulfilling relationship with a guy. Of course, this guy has to be a Labrador Retriever. With human guys, it's extremely difficult. It's because most women don't understand what men mean, and most men don't understand what women mean, by the term relationship. Let's say... A guy named Roger is attracted to a woman named Elaine. He asks her out to the movies. She accepts. They have a great time. A few nights later, Roger asks her out to dinner. And again, they enjoy themselves. They continue to see each other regularly. And after a while, neither one of them is seeing anybody else. And then, one evening, a thought occurs to Elaine. And without really thinking about it, she says it out loud. Roger, do you realize that as of tonight, we've been seeing each other for exactly six months? And then, there's a silence in the car. To Elaine, it seems like one loud silence. And she starts thinking. Jeez, I wonder if it bothers him that I said that. Maybe he's been feeling confined by a relationship. Maybe he feels like I'm forcing him into some obligation that he doesn't want or isn't sure of. And Roger is thinking, Gosh, six months. And Elaine is thinking, But hey, I'm not so sure I want that kind of relationship either. I mean, sometimes I wish I had some time so I could think about whether I want us to keep going the way we are, moving steadily towards... I mean... Where are we going? Are we just trying to keep seeing each other at this level of intimacy? Are we moving towards marriage? Towards children? Am I ready for that level of commitment? Do I even know this person? And Roger is thinking, So let's see. February was when we started going out. So that means, let me check the odometer. Whoa, I am way overdue for an oil change here. And Elaine is thinking, he's upset, and I don't blame him. I'd be upset too. Oh, why do I do this? I, oh, I, I, oh, I'm thinking about the camera. He's upset. Maybe I'm reading this all wrong. Maybe he wants more from our relationship, more commitment, more intimacy. Yes, I bet that's it. That's why he's afraid about talking of his feelings. He's afraid of being rejected. And Roger is thinking. And I'm going to have them check the transmission again. I don't care what those morons say. This thing is still not shifting right. And I paid those incompetent thieves 600 bucks. And Elaine is thinking. He's angry. And I don't blame him. I would be angry too if I were in his situation. Oh, I feel so guilty for putting him through this. But I just can't help the way I feel. <laughs> and Roger is thinking. They're probably going to say it only has a 90 day warranty. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to say, the morons. And Elaine is thinking, Maybe I'm just being too idealistic, waiting for some knight to come riding in on his white horse when I am sitting next to a perfectly good guy, a guy I enjoy being with, a guy who seems to truly care about me, a guy who is in pain because of my self-centered schoolgirl romantic fantasy. <laughs> and Roger's thinking, 
warranty. They want a warranty? I'll give them a warranty. I'll take their warranty, and I'll stick it right up there. Roger? What? Please don't torture yourself like this. What? Oh, I feel so foolish. I know there's no night. I really know that. There's no night. And there's no horse! There's no horse. Oh, you must think of a fool, don't you? No, says Roger, finally happy to just know the correct answer. It's just that, it's just that I, I just need some time. Yes. Oh, Roger, do you really feel that way? What way? That way about time! Oh! Yes! The next day, Elaine will call one of her closest friends, perhaps two of them, and in painstaking detail, they will go over this situation for six straight Hours. They will analyze everything that she said, and everything that he said. They will explore every gesture, phrase, and sentence for nuances of meaning. This will go on for weeks. Maybe months. And they will never come to any definite conclusion. And they will never get bored with it. The next day, Roger, while playing racquetball with a mutual friend of his in the lanes, will pause just before serving, frown and say, Hey, Norm, did Elaine ever own a horse? And the end. Yeah, I hope that that is enjoyable. Um, you can go ahead and send me some other skits or anything, any other monologues you want me to do or see. And... I'll probably look into it and do it. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one.